Hello and welcome to Man Cave Media. On this channel I talk about beer, sneakers, tech, and toys. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, please connect with me on social media. I'm on Instagram at media.mancave and on Facebook and Twitter at mancavemedia.org. And finally, if you enjoy listening to podcasts, please check out the League of Sedentary Gentlemen. We're available wherever you get your podcasts or direct from our website at man-cave-media.org. All right, uh, I don't talk about this nearly enough on this channel, but I got myself a new little cheap RC car. Let's check it out. All right, uh, one of the hobbies that I have that I don't really discuss much on my channel, and I'm trying to change that really, but uh, it's my obsession with RC cars. And lately I have been getting into these uh, cheap RC cars and they're, they're great little cars. Like I said, um, I have a small street and uh, my larger RC cars, I have to pack them up in my truck and drive somewhere to play with them because they're, they're so big and they're so fast. And so I like these little 116 scale cars to, to drive here on my street at home. You know, I don't have to go anywhere to drive these. Um, they're fast, they're fun, but they're small enough and slow enough that I can have fun with them on my street, even though my street is comically small. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, this particular one, I like it. I, I have a, a Tamiya Mini Cooper and I always wanted to get that the body of the, the Mini Cooper truck that fits the uh, Tamiya Mini chassis, but I was never able to find it in stock anywhere and resale on eBay was always ridiculous. So when I saw this guy, this is actually, a, if you can see on the box there, it's a, it's a Mini truck. So that's what, uh, that's what swayed me to try this guy out. Uh, retail, this was $99. Currently at time of filming this video, it is sold out. But if you just keep an eye on the website, I'll put a link in the description below on where I got it from. Uh, keep an eye on the website. They do restock from time to time. And the non-pro version uh, is still in stock. So uh, um, you can always upgrade it later, but I'll, I'll get into what the differences are of the pro version and the non-pro version in a moment. Uh, right now, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box. So they do have two different models. They have a regular Mini Cooper, and then they have the truck. And they have a standard and pro versions of both of those models. So again, I will share a link down below and it will have both of those options. Paperwork here, there's the actual truck. <laughs> yeah, this thing's cool. Alright, let's see what I need to do to free you. Ah, zip ties, everyone's favorite. Away we go. Oh, I moved my trash can. There. All right, so there's the truck itself. Nice little uh, 1 16th scale monster. And then underneath we have oh, a transmitter. It's a pretty good size, but Standard, it looks like. Oh. Wow. It's a four channel uh, radio. That's cool. And then over here we got a extra set of drift tires, which are hella fun if you've never tried that.
Uh, they include um, a charger. That's cool. I like to throw those in my travel box uh, just for, you know, uh, emergencies. If I ever forget to charge a battery. These are the uh, extra uh, drift tires. A lot of people don't like these. They're just hard plastic uh, tires. It makes it easier to make it slide around. Normally, uh, these little cars, especially the brushless ones, they have enough power to slide around on rubber tires. You don't need to put these on. Uh, but if you have a, a, a garage with that nice, shiny, slick concrete, and you put these little guys on, these are a blast, man. Uh, I'll try to get some B-roll footage of me uh, blasting this thing around my garage with these little plastic tires on. Um, they're, they're really fun. But anyways, that is all for the box. Let's get this out of the way. And we'll turn our attention to the truck. So here's the truck itself. <laughs> this thing's cool, man. I really dig it. So it shows on the on the website and on the box. It, it makes it seem like these are like shiny chrome wheels, but they're actually they're actually not. They're actually um, very dull, very flat, like matte color, uh, which I like. I prefer that. But just to FYI, be aware, like in the pictures and on the box, it makes it seem like these are shiny, but they, they are in fact not shiny. But like I said, I prefer that. And they are a standard, you know, Mini Cooper style wheels, which is cool. Um, the body itself, I mean, it comes pre-done already. All the stickers are on it. Pretty well done. The grill is a separate plastic piece. And then it has actual working LED headlights, which that's always fun. And a single LED on the rear. It's got this massive spoiler. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the Arma Infraction in a way. Um, they do make one, uh, this same brand, they make one that looks just like an Infraction. I mean, it's a copyrights be damned situation <laughs> where it looks just like it, but um, anyhow, it does have a sticker for what looks to be a rear man, uh, what looks to be a rear mounted V8. So this Mini Cooper is not stock. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get under the body here. Oh, look at this. So I appreciate a good body clip. Look at this body clip. It is angled upwards so you can grab it better. I'll get, uh, I'll get close-ups of that but oh that is awesome thank you that is so easy usually on these little 116 scale cars I got to use a pair of needle nose to get some of these body clips off they're such a pain that was quite pleasant so straight away we have the plug for the LEDs let's go ahead and oof why didn't you want to come off there we go so there's the plug for the LEDs there. So the grill and the light cups are a separate piece that's screwed on to the body itself. So that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like this body does have a protective plastic film over the top of it. So uh, what I tend to do is I'll run it a few times with that protective plastic over it and then after it's been bashed around a few times, it's got some bumps and bruises on it. I'll pull that uh, protective piece off and it'll be like new again. So, but I mean, do what you will, but that's just what I like to do. So underneath, we have uh, standard spring shocks. Very bouncy, but I mean, For what you pay for this thing, I don't expect anything better than that. Uh, you could probably source some oil-filled shocks for this guy. That would be uh, uh, much much less bouncy, but like I said, for what it is, it's fine for me. Uh, we have a combo uh, radio and speed control right there. There's your steering servo right there. Uh, it comes with open diffs. 
Pretty cool. It's got metal drive line. Looks like it's got metal drive shafts. Yeah. So metal drive shafts, metal drive line. It comes with a 3900 kV brushless motor. This guy right here. Which that's gonna be hella fun. And then included with the car, another one of those nice body clips that holds this battery in. So uh, included with the car is a 2S LiPo. It's a pretty good size uh, battery tray, so you can get some you can get some much better batteries in here. Unfortunately, it is a mini Dean's connector, so you'll have to uh, solder on a new connector or use an adapter. But you can definitely find some some uh, better 3S batteries, 2S and 3S batteries that will fit in this battery compartment. It's a, it's a pretty good size uh, battery compartment. You can even take this arm off. This is what I did with my my kids. Uh, 116 scale monster trucks is I took the arm off the battery tray and they sell uh, velcro that you just glue it down into the battery tray and then you can fit uh, much larger batteries that way so that's probably what I'll do with this guy um, I'll use this uh, 2s that they gave me it's a 1200 milliamp hour uh, 2s it's not terrible uh, I'll use it for now and then later I'll probably modify this guy to fit a bigger battery and I might try to push a 3s through this guy and see what happens you know you never know um, hopefully this uh, this combo ESC has some uh, heat protection and it will uh, kill itself before I do any damage to it <laughs> uh, so let's see other than that I mean it's all pretty standard as far as uh, these little 116 scale chassis go, um, there is room for improvement. If you wanted to upgrade this thing, uh, because it's a 116 scale, I, I wouldn't really do much to it. Maybe a larger motor. It's got plenty of room to fit a larger motor in there, but I would try to keep with the, uh, with the stock combo ESC and not try to go too crazy because these 116 scales man once you start ramping up the power they become uncontrollable almost so probably the the biggest upgrade that i'm going to try to do to this guy is the shocks i'm going to try to source some oil shocks for this because these are just way too bouncy man yeah that's gonna that's gonna be terrible <laughs> but all right um let's go ahead and get some close-ups and i'll get some action shots of this guy and then uh, I'll give you my overall thoughts.
All right, so uh, after ripping this guy around a little bit, this is extremely fun. Um, I knew it would be, and uh, I compared it a little bit to the other 116 scale car that I have, uh, which is uh, a knockoff of the Hunicorn. And so you can see like how much fun these little 116 scale uh, cars are really uh, in a really small space. And with those drift tires, man, the <laughs> those solid drift tires are crazy. Uh, I, I like running those around in my garage. They're, they're a lot of fun. Uh, they do have a brushed version of this truck that's $84 or $85 uh, rather and it is still in stock as I mentioned. Uh, the brushed and the pro brushless version of the standard Mini Cooper are both still in stock right now so uh, if you don't care uh, to have the uh, the truck body uh, you just want to try the RC out yourself that that is still in stock if you run over there and, and uh, grab it right now. Again link in the description below. Uh, also, if you're okay with a brush, you know, well, also if you're okay with not getting the Pro um, and you want a brushed model, they also have that one that looks just like the Arma Infraction, um, but it is a brushed uh, setup. That one is in stock. And they also have another one that, that it kind of looks like a Mustang a little bit. Uh, also brushed version uh, that is also in stock. Both of those are also $85. So again, link in the description below. Um, if you guys want to pick any of these cars up, they also have some other uh, kind of cool little uh, RC cars you can browse through. Uh, the name of the website is called Asia RC Depot. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great afternoon, and like always, thank you for watching.